What's up Lego fans and welcome back to the channel Pete's Bricks, the Lego channel for the common Lego fan. I am back with a brand new video today. Finally, we're going to be going over my entire Lego city, which you can see right behind me. So for the longest time, my city has been kind of a mess and I haven't really been satisfied enough with it to make an entire video to show you guys my city. However, right now, I would say that in the current state, my city is more than enough ready to show you guys on a video. It's, I would say it's about 90% done. There are some things in the back which are kind of a mess or unfinished. From this angle, you can't see them. But yeah, we're just gonna work our way around the entire city, starting from left to right and working our way all the way around the city because I have some hidden details in the far back behind the Ninjago city and behind my main buildings. So without further ado, let's get right into this video. Okay, so let's start with a, just a general overview of the city. This entire Lego city is built on base plates and the dimensions are five by 10. So 10 long all the way from one end to the other end, and then five is the width of the table. The table is uh, wood, as you can see, and I have plenty of stuff under there. But today's focus is on what's on top of the city, not what's under it, because what's under it is kind of a mess. Uh, we're gonna work our way from the left all the way to the right. There are two main sections of my city. There is the beach slash Ninjago city on this side. And then over here is the more city city, if you want to call it that. It's also kind of a cloudy day, so I will be carrying this light with me as I record this video. Let's start over here. This is one of my favorite sections. This is the farmer's market slash uh, farm, mini farm, if you want to call it that. Uh, first of all, I got this little tractor out here. So this tractor is actually from not Lego City, but from Lego DC Superheroes, specifically a Batman set. It is from the Scarecrows set, the Harvest of Fear. It's just a little civilian farmer guy that's been thrown in there so that you have somebody for Batman to rescue from the Scarecrow. But I think that this is the best small Lego tractor they've ever made for minifigures. I do have a larger red one from Lego City, but this, I like the size of this. It's very nice, very detailed, pretty realistic looking, and it's the perfect size to just fit in the corner there. Sometimes in Lego Cities, especially if you have train tracks, it creates a lot of kind of dead space like this corner. Just a weird angle with the track going through there. It's not big enough to put a building or a structure or anything substantial or large, but adding a small vehicle like this one is a good way just to fill up the space and keep every inch of your city as interesting as you can and not let any space go to waste. Right in here we got a better shot of my farm area. It's a very simple little kind of pig pen I put together with this white picket fence. I use simple one by one bricks here for the corners of the fence. I added in a chicken coop from a set. All my different colored chickens. I think I have four different ones now. I have See, I think the dark orange one there is the newest. Then I have a dark tan. I have a tan and a white one. Of course, I have all of my pigs in there. Right here is my garden slash farmer's market. I have the farmer's market produce food truck right there. Super cool, super cool set. Right there is the garden area. We got grapes, corn, peppers, pumpkins, bananas, pretty much anything you could ask for. Um, in terms of produce in my Lego city. Moving this way, this is the first modular building that I ever had and I ever built. It is the detective's office. It has more than a detective's office, of course. The detective's office is just this area right in here. Below that, we have a pool hall. We got a barbershop and an apartment in, up in those two um, stories. At the top, I've added some Batman because Batman is one of my favorite things. We got the bat signal. We got Batman in his classic Lego black suit, along with your all red Tim Drake Robin. Very iconic, very nostalgic. Gives me some Lego Batman 2, the video game vibes, which is why I wanted them at the top of this building. Of course, below I have the 1966 Batmobile. One thing about my city is I don't care about, I don't know, making things realistic. Like they're intended to go in this Batmobile even though it would be more appropriate to put the, well, the older versions of Batman and Robin in this Batmobile. I just like to keep things fun, mix things together. Moving around here to the front, well, 
I better just say, I got a whole train track around my whole city. This is the only train station that I currently have in my city. I do have another one that's red, but as we go around the city, you'll see that I have literally no space for another train station. This is probably the only one I'm gonna keep in here, at least until I rearrange the whole city again. I got a bunch of figures in the front. I definitely wanna add some more to make it extra crowded. Just my advice when you're filling your city full of characters, use whatever you have, honestly. It doesn't have to make sense. You got an airport guy, I guess he's headed to the airport, some sort of racer, that guy from Pharaoh's Quest, an artist, was that Chase McLean? Chase McCain? I think it's McLean from the Lego City Undercover uh, video games. Just a random, random citizen. And then a guy in a hazmat suit. Why is he nervous? What is he doing at the train station? I don't know. You can decide for yourself. I really like the classic look at this train station. It's the oldest train station I have. If I had to guess a date, I would say 2009, but I could be wrong. It just feels very classic Lego. And that's what I like to do in my city. I like to mix modern sets with things that I just got with older things from my collection because this whole city really is a culmination of my Lego collecting throughout my entire life. Next to the detective's office modular, I have the corner garage. Look at the orange, look at the blue. What a good contrast. You have a gas station on the bottom. You have a apartment up top and in the middle is a vet's office, which is pretty nice. Um, I added a bunch of different details from this guy giving their car a wash to this person getting their little, what is that? Like a scooter, some more fuel. But then I got a popcorn vendor on the corner and when you press this, it makes the popcorn pop. Little things like this just add a lot of personality to your Lego city. On top of the corner garage, I have Gargantos from Doctor Strange fighting the Avengers. You got Sam Wilson, Captain America, Doctor Strange, Iron Man, a bunch of different Avengers. I uh, try to make kind of a scene here where Spider-Man has the tentacles wrapped. He's pulling it downward so that Hawkeye, which the creature has Hawkeye in his uh, tentacle there, so that he can get a good shot in the eye and take down the beast. Um, just a little cool action detail. As I said, I like to mix everything together. So we got Batman over here and then we got Marvel over here. You know, are they in the same universe? No, but are they in the same Lego universe? Yes, so I, if it's Lego, it's, it's probably gonna be in my city. Don't really care about mixing stuff together. That brings me to my Wayne Tower mock. So in the Lego community, mock stands for my own creation. Everything that I've shown you, most of the stuff in my city are actual Lego sets that you can still buy or that you could buy from Lego stores. They came in boxes, you build them, that's it. I love Lego sets, let's be real, but this, this is my own thing. I made it from scratch, no instructions, no plan, I just kind of built. Um, the goal was to have a giant Wayne Tower and I think I, uh, I think I achieved that with this. Now it's not finished from the inside, but from the outside, for the most part it is. I still think it needs a giant W for Wayne somewhere, but I couldn't quite find a good spot for that. Um, that'll be definitely the focus of a separate video just on that mock, but it is currently the tallest thing in my city and I think it looks pretty great from my first really serious mock that I really tried to make look good. It has seven floors plus a secret floor in the top area, which we'll take a look at when we go around. Like I said, it's not finished, but it's something I'm working on. It's a current project of mine, and I think it makes the skyline look super cool, especially when you back up. It is it is the tallest thing in the city, and it really, really stands out. Taking a look in here, we have the Botanical Gardens. The only Lego friend set that I own, and the coolest one, I gotta say. It looks like a Lego City set. That's why I like it so much. You can't tell it's Lego friends. It's not all pink and girly. It's just very nice. It has that dome. You got flowers in there. Of course, I had to put poison ivy in there with a guy who seems to be controlled by a plant. He, she probably did that to him. Over here, I have some more modular buildings. I have the bookstore, which is really nice with the little apartment or house. Then you have the brick bank right next to that, which was the second modular building I got. I really like this view, especially from here, where you got the buildings to one side, 
buildings to another side, the imposing Wayne Tower right up there, tons of minifigures with their own lives and their own stories, a bunch of different vehicles. This is one of my favorite shots and one of my favorite views in my Lego city. Um, right here I have a hot dog stand with a hot dog vendor. Um, make sure to pause the video, by the way, if there's any details you really wanna see. I can't possibly go over every little bit without making this video extremely long, though I could, I might do that in the future. This is just kind of an overview update of the city. Yeah, there I have a Peter Porker with all of the Marvel animal guys. You got Pork Rind, you got Alligator Loki, and you got Frog Thor just chilling out, eating some hot dogs. Different vehicles over here. Um, I'm not sure why I put this uh, this uh, guy on this. Uh, I'm not sure why I put him in the street. I, I don't think that's gonna turn out very well. That was diabolical. But he's there. I got a lot of cars, like a lot, a lot of cars. Um, I kind of just kept adding them to here. As you can see, they go all along that road. Um, putting some away is something I'm thinking about doing just so the city doesn't look too cluttered. Although I do like the cars. So that's something I got to think about doing for the city. But since we're over here, now we can talk about the Ninjago City slash beach. This is my favorite part, my favorite view of my entire Lego city. The most recent set that I got is the Ninjago City uh, Markets, which is this massive, massive chunk of city right here. That is all one set. I got that for Christmas. I finally finished building it. I was just really busy, so it took me a few months just working on it here and there, but I finally got into my city and I have it next to the Ninjago City Gardens, which is this set there with the big tree. They look perfect together. They're meant to go together. Of course, then I have the Monkey Kid set. That is the City of Lanterns, which was not made to go with these, but I think it's basically Ninjago City, but smaller. They pair perfectly, perfectly together to create this whole zone that I made right around the beach in the water area. Besides things like Ninjago City, one of my favorite Lego things are food trucks. And I have a lot of them here. I have what, two, four, five food trucks, six, including the vegetable one you saw way over there. But yeah, I got slushy, pizza, double ice cream, and a hamburger truck with just a bunch of different Lego people lining up to get different different treats at the, at the beach. Um, the beach is always one of my favorite parts of my city to set up, especially since, since I can put just a lot of stuff. I got a band playing there, people dancing. You got some volleyball game going on, surfers, ice cream, got a, a giant turkey being grilled right there. Um, who's grilling it? I'm not sure. Um, different, different people just hanging around, hanging about at the beach. Super cool. We got the, the water area here. I'm gonna move right around here so you can see. I like boats too. Boats are also one of my favorite Lego things. You got boats, food trucks, Ninjago. Those, those are some of my favorite stuff in Lego. Just different boats, different creatures, different pe creatures. There aren't any creatures here. Well, I guess the dolphins, you got dolphins. Um, got Ninjago people, you got all sorts of different stuff. Hey, I got that island, Ray the Castaway GWP. Super cool little freebie I got at the Lego store. Fits right into the city. The Ninjago city still needs a little bit of work. It needs more minifigures. And I have a lot of Ninjago minifigures. I have all the figures that came with this set in there, plus a few extra ones. Like there you can see is that Pigsy from Monkey Kid right there. Just a few random ones thrown in there to add a little fun to it. This one, I took all the figures off so I could dust it. I need to add all of them back into there. Um, there, I got the Lloyd's Green Dragon from the Ninjago movie, just kind of hovering up there. That has to be my favorite Lego Ninjago dragon set, even though it is a mechanical dragon, like a mech and not a real dragon. I think it looks fantastic. You've seen most of the city. You've seen the main section of the city. Now we're gonna go around back because I have all sorts of different stuff around back. You might be wondering, how do I still have room? I have about half a base plate behind Ninjago City, behind all that line. 
behind uh, these buildings as well, I have about half a base plate and I've made the most of that space for sure. So here's the front of the city and here is the secret back area. It is a little hard to get in here, so I'll do my best to show you guys. Right here is my jungle area. So we got things like uh, the Monkey Kid, Flower Fruit Mountain, another one of my favorite sets of all time. It has a giant waterfall. You got all sorts of different creatures. You got monkeys I've put in here, lions, elephants. I just think it fits really nicely in the little, little space I got here. That's pretty cool. So I have jungle, which transitions into forest. I got the massive tree house, which you probably saw the top of. I got a bunch of different characters here. The Winnie the Pooh house, which was kind of visible from the front. So this is my forest. Forest bumped up right against jungle. Does it make sense in real life? No. Is this my city? Is this not real life? Yes. So I got that there. Then we have this area in the corner, which is kind of a dumping ground for stuff I don't have room for right now. When I said my city's 90% done, this is what I was talking about. This is a mess right here. I gotta clean it up. Once I clean it up, it'll free the train track so I can run the trains and just make my city feel a lot better. Even though this isn't visible from the front, it's visible to me because I know it's there and it just annoys the heck out of me. Here's another view of Wayne Tower. So like I said, not all the interiors are done. This is gonna be Bruce Wayne's office. This will be a conference room. I have red chairs temporarily. I need to order black chairs. Um, offices, just all the usual Wayne Tower stuff. But of course that will be for another video once I finish it. Here's another view of this kind of mess area. This is the train yard so I can store a train. Like you see the track right there I, and it goes all the way uh, into here. There is a switch somewhere in here, but I can start one whole other train inside of there and then have the train I will want to run on the outside. So got to clean this up, got to get this uh, fixed in order. So that is basically my entire Lego city. Make sure to leave your thoughts in the comments. Let me know if there's anything I can improve, anything I could change in my city, any suggestions you might have on the state of the current Lego city. What's cool about Lego City specifically is that they can move and they can change. I have changed this layout more times than I can count completely. I've taken everything off, just had fun and just rearranged a new city, taking it down. That's what Legos are about. Just having fun and coming up with new designs. Thanks for watching my video. If you made it this far, why not subscribe to the channel if you like this video, of course, because I'm gonna be doing a lot more content in my city. Instead of just showing you a random city update, I'm going to be actively working in the city, showing you guys updates and just things that I'm doing, things I'm changing out, adding mini figures, adding sets, just stuff like that. I really want my city to be a bigger part of my channel moving forward. So with that being said, thank you again for watching the video. Have a good day, God bless, keep building, and I will see you guys in the next video on my channel, Pete's Bricks.